All right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're gonna be checking out something out of Belgium. So this is the Belgian DSU. Now, they seem very similar to like the Dutch DSI and other sort of counter-terror police units that we've seen. But generally, when we talk about those, we see something that looks a little bit different, whether it be a piece of equipment that other police aren't utilizing or different tactics or sort of like the crossover between the police and military. So I wanna see how the Belgian DSU do it compared to a lot of the other units that we've checked out. So this was recommended to me a lot. So I'm finally glad I'm able to check out a cool video. This one seems pretty good. It's about six and a half minutes long, but it seems to provide some pretty good information about the DSU. So yeah, let's check it out. So I think this is from like their official YouTube page too, which kind of helps. Director of special units. That sounds like something that'd be in charge of like special police. Damn, this is, this is well done. So they're, okay, they're made in 1972. Ooh, okay. Okay, hold on, I wanna see what we had there. So we have this dude fast roping. Okay, so normal operator stuff. And then we have this, which kind of looks, what is that, like some sort of surveillance or maybe like a snatch and grab sort of unit. These guys, again, more operator. And then this looks to be like they're wiring a dude up. So again, maybe some more sort of surveillance kind of stuff. And then, yeah, some sniper, I think. Okay. I'm liking it so far, especially the fast roping and the kit. <laughs> okay, what kind of special police are these? They're just, it looks like they just shot a 40 millimeter grenade inside the window, but I'm guessing it was like a, Sort of, I don't know, like a riot control agent. <laughs> okay. Nice. That's hot. There you go. The flashbangs and pistols. Maritime stuff too. Okay. God, I love flashbangs. Yep, there's Jacob ladders that are, what the heck was that? Those Jacob ladders are a pain in the butt. These things that end up just spinning around a lot and you're just trying to like fight control. What am I looking at though? So it looks like this is some sort of like rescue ship. So it looks like it's got like small crafts and whatnot and it's orange, but why does it, it looks like the whole, the bottom of like an actual ship that just got like cut off and made into something else. It looks really weird. Dude, this is sick. These guys are definitely like on par with Dutch DSI. Really freaking cool. Nice. Hell yeah. So I wonder how they sort of work in with like other military forces if they do. Because again, this definitely looks like a special, <laughs> okay. This is definitely like a special operations kind of unit, but what in tarnation, dude? Again, we're seeing like a bunch of different like special operations kind of things. And this is, if this is just for a police unit, then that is pretty cool. But I guess it's a federal police. So I guess they make some, some better money. This looks like an Arctic warfare rifle, which is pretty slick. Then of course you gotta get the lasers in. That's awesome. Okay. No way he's shooting from the back of that. <laughs> That's cool. Must be impossible to hit anything though. Alright, so um, security, maybe for like some VIPs or something. <laughs> I wonder how high that dog jumped to get in there. Oh man, that's like gun ASMR. Okay, technical supports. Nice, we're seeing all the little job fields too. Okay, so these are I guess like the cyber kind of guys, UAV operators. Nice. <laughs> that's cool, that's good attention to detail there. Yeah, so they're rigging up some surveillance equipment. 
So this is a technical support, guys. Damn. This is all like Ghost Recon kind of looking stuff, like really futuristic looking. Like, I don't know what was just happening there. I mean, we got like this weird, like, I don't know, like under the door <laughs> camera or something. Like some, looks like thermal or what have you, but. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of different stuff. I like how it sort of breaks down into all the different like job fields you can do in the, the DSU, but it's pretty cool so far. I'm pretty impressed by the funding for one, but also just the general capabilities. What? These are all the weird like micro technology kind of dudes and the cyber stuff. Interesting. This is like something you see out of like an intelligence agency. So I wonder if they're about like on par with the FBI. It looks like sort of like an internal affairs kind of thing. Hey, the arrest units, okay. Dude, you drive the vehicles right in front of yours, block you off, and then him out at gunpoint. <laughs> He's got like a, a marker too. That's considerate. Hey, yeah, there you go. The plane closed, guys. That's sick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, a little, a little less sneaky, I guess, when you're doing stuff like that. Damn, this is like some spooky kind of stuff. Hey, the CQB with the plain clothes. That's sick. Oh, okay. Oh, nice helmets. Yo, these guys must be important with the amount of equipment and stuff they're getting. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't you bring a car inside of a shooting range? Okay, damn, this is like some spooky stuff we're seeing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, undercover, we're not gonna show you a whole lot of that because I guess they're undercover. It's meant to be like secret squirrelish, so. Okay, I would have liked to see a little bit more of that. It's kind of cool. I, it looks like the other guys were kind of like undercover just being in like the plain clothes. So I guess those guys are just like the really spooky ones. Goedemiddag iedereen, bonjour tout le monde. We draaien vandaag een dossier B. Diane. C'est un dossier de trafic d'armes pour le PGF de Bruxelles. Onze it's pretty well made though, I gotta say. Sport Dirk. Dirk devrait avoir un contact dans le courant de la soirée. Mm. I don't know who. Yeah, here we go. The surveillance. Nice. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Why are the guys in Gillies inserting by like a car? Okay. I mean, I guess if you're out of sight, you're okay. Who's this? Huh. Nice. Of course, you gotta get some more cool stuff in at the end. Are they wearing like gold foil? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really hope this music doesn't get uh, copyright claimed. So if you guys end up hearing like not a lot of music or not a lot of sound. That's probably what happened there. Definitely an intense video, but I like how it showed all the different jobs and also the different kind of specialties. So with like the technical support, you saw the surveillance sort of rigging at the same time. You saw like the weird micro robotics kind of stuff. Now this is a federal police. So I imagine they have more jurisdiction, more authorization to do a lot more stuff. So they're probably going to get better funding than smaller police units but I'm not sure if Belgium even has like smaller police units or if it just has a federal police. But yeah, they definitely seem like they're 
they're kind of like mirroring what the FBI would look like over here in the States as far as like all the different technical stuff. You had the surveillance, but then you also have like the heavy hitters as far as like in the FBI, you have the HRT, the hostage rescue team. And we definitely saw those kinds of guys, but of course they have like this, the plain clothes dudes who are in charge of the arrest. And then also those spooky undercover people, which I imagine that's kind of like maybe some sort of intelligence kind of function. I imagine with a police unit like this, they probably have a pretty serious intelligence. So I imagine it's going to be an internal intelligence agency or it might be another intelligence agency that Belgium has that's sort of supporting these guys. But yeah, they seem pretty all encompassing. Definitely a little bit different from what we've seen with other like sort of counter-terror police units. Cause this is, again, there's a lot more going into it as far as like those supporting elements and also the different capabilities. Generally, you just see like heavy hitters, like the counter-terror dudes are usually the guys that are going to be going in and taking out the gunmen. But we saw a lot more as far as the surveillance aspect and particular people doing the arrest, how they do the arrest, definitely looked a little bit different. But a very solid recommendation. Keep those cool recommendations coming because, again, there are a lot of very badass units out there that we aren't savvy of until you guys recommend it, like the Belgian DSU, the Dutch DSI, even the UK CTSFO. Some very cool folk out there doing some pretty good work. So keep the cool recommendations coming. You can throw it down below in the comments section or you can head over to the Discord and recommend them there. Also, if you sort of want to jump the line with recommendations, just recommend a video with like dudes wearing like really cool gray kit, throwing flashbangs and shooting stuff a lot because I'll probably end up reacting to that first because it's just a cool aesthetic. But this is a very cool video. Keep all the recommendations coming. Thank you guys again for watching. That is it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.